Hey yo guys, welcome to Rock Toy. They call me Kodi, the Royal Highness. If I go fly, it's never try me. Money can never bar me. I came with this taste today, cause you know I'm too global right now. All right, on entertainment scene, dropping is number one on my list. Actor Demi Akolawa's raised alarm over the high rate of slumping and dying. Reportedly, we know, you know, legendary Bunyeka Owenu collapsed and died following her performance at a friend's 80th birthday. Another one has happened, a former J popular Yoruba vlogger. His real name is Abimbola Ali, but he's popularly known as a former J. He's a Yoruba vlogger. He reportedly died while playing football at a cage. Just, you know, it just happened. And then he just, he made a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, and said, hey, five people have actually slumped and died for the past few weeks. What is happening? Are they actually investigating this death? Because are doctors taking autopsies and thorough investigation to the real cause of their death? What is happening? But then I subscribe to her, the living, regular exercise, and make sure you eat healthy, make sure you have lots of vegetables on your meal, fruits, also very expedient because it helps in, you know, uh, the eye, because when you start aging, your eye begins to, you know, also age. So fruits and vegetables helps you, you know, to, you know, the anti-aging agent. Make sure you exercise regularly. Very important. But I, I particularly know that these people should please investigate what it is the cause of this death. Because these people, both of them were rushed to the hospital, but all measures taken to revive them proved for time. They died. Please, I think doctors should, you know, um, considering what is happening, they're both mentioned scenarios. I think they should have a meticulous investigation on the real cause of their death. Take autopsies, investigation should be done so that, you know, the things can be, you know, let's know what's really happening, okay? Meditative souls rest in perfect peace. All right, away from death, why of a popular social media personality and reality tv show host ebuka obi uchen do you know him the big brother ebuka the wife is coming out his her name is cynthia she's coming out to say hey uh, of course i'm open to having another child uh, she was just on a podcast recently and she said i'm going to have another child preferably a son they have two daughters you know they were celebrated they celebrated that daughter just because she was reportedly having best in this best in this subject best in her class but right now they're saying hey her wife is saying, his wife is saying, hey, I would like to have a son, preferably a son, just to, to make it true, to make it true, make it true. Yeah. I wish them the best of luck as they look forward to having a son very soon. All right, uh, Bob Risky is out. You all know that. It's no longer news. It was released on Monday, 5th of August, 2024. And then the news making rounds, the videos was everywhere. You know, social media was on fire because... Why do you, why is Bob Risky looking fresh and young and bigger? What happened? Did he or she, did he or she go to <laughs> Kirikiri prison or did he go on vacation? Because it, she came out looking fresher, brighter, healthier. What is happening now? What in the apple? Kirikiri has a lot to explain to us. All right, people are reportedly saying, "Hey, what is happening?" Because hey, he looks. Too healthy, it looks too healthy. Right now, a video is also making rounds on Gossip Mill TV, uh, also posted by Tunde Ed Not, where Bob Risk is seen chilling with actress Moyo Lawa. And then with other people, we have some Hennessy, some champagne on the table, boat crews in Lagos, you know. Reportedly, you saw, or oh, we saw a convoy of Mama of Lagos being welcomed back to Lagos where she was, you know, she was released and she's still, you know, she's chilling. <laughs> she's chilling. I wish him or I wish him or her all the best. All right, away from dad. The rapper Snoop Dogg allegedly whooping, alleged whooping daily income at the Paris Olympic is causing uproar. But if you've been following the 2024 Paris Olympics, you're going to see Snoop Dogg chilling and always giving our colleagues waving his usa flag to any u.s outlet that reportedly gets a gold or silver you always see him say hey you did good you did good you did good so snoop dogg allegedly was paid about five hundred thousand dollars daily that's about seven hundred and sixty nine million naira a year 
approximately that amount daily. That's so much money just to make appearance. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's what I'm saying. That whatever you're doing, you better keep doing it and keep doing it good. You don't know what's gonna happen. You want to, want, want, once you hit that point where they can pay you 769 million daily, of course you know you're already global. You're already too global. That's too much money already. All right, shout out to Snoop Dogg also for, for chilling right there at the 2024 Paris Olympics away from that. Miss South Africa is, I will say, causing a problem right there because uh, Chidima Adichino, uh, she is born to a Nigerian father and uh, Mos uh, is it Mozambican stroke South African mother. Yeah, and then uh, she won Miss South Africa 2024. And South Africans are saying, this is illegal. She's a foreigner. How, we sh how is she going to become be a foreigner and come to South Africa to win Miss SA 2024? What is happening? But that's what we're seeing right now. Chidema Adishino is, you know, Miss SA 2024. Shout out to you, darling, for making us proud. Nigerians, we're proud of you. And I'm seeing Chidema in your name. I'm proud of you, sister. You want to go? All right, away from that. Um, sweet moment of a hobby of former Miss Nigeria, Sylvia Eden. You know, she was giving a Bugatti on 45th birthday oh my god that's a husband give a bugatti on her 45th birthday from our miss nigeria sylvia edem well, you know do you know her if you're old you're gonna know her but if you're young you probably don't know her but then it is trending right now because the husband of birthday is a billionaire for him to be able to afford a bugatti of course you know what it is here come on it's too much money shout out to you and happy birthday sylvia edem miss nigeria from our miss nigeria and for your husband more money, more blessings. Away from that, the girl that they call Sabi Girl, Aerostar, the girl I love so much. Uh, she's making Nigeria proud because, of course, we know that her album, The Day I Turn 21, is, you know, it's, it's possibly, you know, uh, receiving accolade, uh, big breaking record on Spotify, on Boom Play, back to back, back to back, back to back. Right now, what is happening is that she has been seen chilling with Rihanna at Crop Over Festival 2024 in Barbados. Uh, the Barbadarian act reportedly. Uh, invited Aerostar to come chill with her. Of course, you know that uh, this is the second time they've been caught chilling together, but this time they were caught wearing matching outfits, stepping out, you know, chilling in Barbados. Both they slay in matching outfit, and people are saying, Hey, Rihanna, you have a lovely heart. Thank you for always taking us a big girl together. You know, you know, Aerostar is gone global. That's what, that's what I'm going to say. Shout out to Maven Records, shout out to Don Jazzy. Because uh, whatever he touches turns gold. Reportedly, he's making so much money from this artist. Rema, um, Aerostar, Magix, all of them, they're all there. Of course, you know them, them plenty. Uh, so, shout out to Aerostar for seeing Chilling with Rihanna second time. She's gone global. The picture is. It's turning, it's turning, it's turning ears. It's, you know, it's eyebrow raising on how far Aerostar has gone. And we are particularly proud of because Nigeria to the world. That's what you want. All our celebrities paint us positively to the world. Do not, you know, we don't want to see our celebrities being, you know, painting us black over the world. We want to see you guys doing well because you guys are our role models. We look to you guys for us to be inspired. Aerostar. Thanks for being an inspiration to so many young girls to, to tell you that wh whatever you set your mind to do, you can achieve it. So don't stop dreaming. Don't stop doing it. And don't forget to follow us on our social media platform at Olika TV. Instagram, Facebook, it's the same. You know, for, don't forget to click on the notification button so that when a video drops, you get it. You get hit. You know what I'm saying? Share this video to the next person because it is just trendy. It's just dropping right now. Don't forget to follow your host with the most at Good Entertainer on Instagram. Tell me what you feel about the news you just heard right now. You know what I'm saying? All right. Don't forget that whatever you're doing right now, wherever you are in the world, I know you're protesting peacefully because I know protest is still on. This is the sixth day. Protest peacefully. I just heard that uh, already in Jigawa, protesters started protest started today and already breaking and looting properties. Please don't do that. If you're youth, do not be used by unscrupulous elements to unleash mayhem and chaos to Nigerians. We don't want that. That's too much destruction already going on. Don't forget that you're a star. You're born to fly. Boate.